Okay, we are live and recording. Okay, good evening, folks. Uh, welcome to this special meeting of the City Council, May 26th. Um, and uh, my line. Okay, I'll let you then. I'll let you take over. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the to a special meeting of the Council of the City of Long Beach held Tuesday, May 26, 2020 at 7 p.m. We have a roll call. Councilmember Deluri. Present. Councilmember Mandel. Present. Councilmember Treston. Present. Vice President McGinnis. Present. President Bendel. Present. Let the record indicate the presence of City Manager Donna Gaden, Corporation Council Simone Freeman, and Comptroller Ina Resnick. We'll now have a salute to the flag. Uh, Councilwoman McGinnis, you got your, the flag in your background. Would you please lead us? Sure. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. So, um, so since it's a special meeting, just uh, so everybody knows, there's uh, no good and welfare tonight. Um, with a special meeting, uh, so some of the things that normally happen at a city council meeting uh, uh, won't take place tonight. Um, I do want to just say though that our police commissioner, Michael Tagney is going to be uh re he's retiring his last day of work will be friday he has worked for the city of long beach for 42 years and i just want to on behalf of the council i want to thank commissioner tagney for his long years of service to the city and i wish him nothing but well in his retirement um thank you for what you uh for your service to Long Beach. So with that, um, I, there's no city manager update tonight, and uh, I guess we can move on to the agenda. The first item is a resolution authorizing the adoption of a capital improvement program for five years from July 1st, 2020 through June 30th, 2025. And I'm going to unmute Mr. Miranda. John, you're unmuted, go ahead. Uh I mean, we presented the capital plan already. This is a five-year plan that sh has shown some savings over the next five years from last year. So it's two years in a row. Uh, I think the highlights are that um, we, we've put together a capital budget that comes in well below what's going to come off on the um, uh, debt, present debt service. We'll be taking $8.2 million in debt service off, a uh, $1 million in short-term notes, and we're proposing a total budget between all three funds of just a little over $5 million. Does anybody have any specific questions about any of the projects that are on, on the budget? I, I, don't have a, I don't have a specific question. I just have a request for, um, for the work that is done by city employees that you plan to capitalize as part of these projects. I would like to make sure that I have your confirmation that Ms. Resnick and Ms. Gaden will be um, heavily involved in that process. With each, with each capital project that we do with in-house labor, we supply the controller's office with an accounting of each hour spent by each employee along with their updated overheads so that that money gets capitalized and spread out over the life of the project also. That's been a past practice and we'll continue to do that. Great. I'm really looking forward to a, an, a process whereby the count, the uh, city manager and the city controller is part of uh, that calculation going forward. So thank you. Okay, and I was talking. I'm okay, sorry. You got, you got something there, John? Go ahead. I just, just asked if there was any other questions. No, I'm just going to add that uh, there was uh, a couple of uh, uh, minor tweaks, uh, nothing that changed anything, just uh, as we had talked about at the last meeting, we took 
we're putting things back in the operating budget that belong in the operating budget, not in the in the capital plan. So uh, just the plan, um, it was, there was three things in the plan that had been moved back into the operating budget. So uh, it actually slightly reduced the amount uh, to be borrowed uh, for the capital plan. Uh, but other than that, if there's no other questions or comments from the council. Okay, next. Okay, John, I'm going to mute you again. Okay, item two is a resolution authorizing the adoption of the budget for the fiscal year commencing July 1st, 2020 and ending June 30th, 2021, appropriating some set forth therein and determining and fixing the real estate tax levy. Okay, on this one there, uh, this year we do have an errata sheet. So that uh, that will be included as part of the vote on the budget. So uh, what happened in the errata sheet is it doesn't change the bottom line of the, the budget, um, but uh, the revenues were increased by $415,360. Much of that is reflected in a in a uh, grant we got late this uh, late in this fiscal year um, of three hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars. That, that's much of it. And then on the expense side, the expenses went up also four hundred and fifteen thousand three hundred and sixty dollars. And most of that was um, again related to moving things from the capital plan uh, back into the operating budget. Um, so, and then there was a slight change, a $10,000 change um, in the water fund that was to reflect that the uh, chief operator at the plant is retiring. So a couple of people will move up in positions uh, to fill the, uh, the gap. So there was some salary adjustments that were gonna take place because of that. So that's the errata sheet. Um, it's posted on the city's website so everybody could see it. Um, and then uh, I guess, are there any uh, final questions from the council? Okay, um, we had the two budget hearings previously. Uh, I was told uh, not long before the call, there was a couple of late questions that came in after the hearings. Uh, I think there was two I was told. So what we'll do, like we did with the other uh, questions we got for the hearings, what we'll do is we'll get answers to those and we'll put them up on the city website so uh, everybody can see the question and the answer. So uh, beyond that, um, I guess we can move on to the next item. We wanna do a motion now to adopt the errata into the item? Uh, we can do that if you'd like. Okay. We like to like to make a motion to adopt the errata into the uh, into the uh, budget. I'll make that motion. I have a second. I'll second the motion. Thank you. Okay. Motion to add the errata into the into the budget item. Councilmember Delury. Yes. Councilmember Mandel. Yes. Councilmember Treston. President McGinnis. Yes. President Bendo. Yes. Okay. Now on to item three, which is a resolution authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract for sanitary sewer replacement on Ford Street North of East Pine Street. And I will unmute Mr. Miranda. Okay, John, you're unmuted. Okay, so Boyd Street, uh, we're in the middle of designing a road, complete road reconstruction project for Boyd that includes replacing the water main, the sewer main, Curb sidewalks, lights, and asphalt, and uh, you know, just to redo the street like when we do a complete road restoration. Unfortunately, the sewer main decided not to wait for that. Uh, the sewer pipe on um, on Boyd is asbestos cement pipe, and what happens in asbestos cement pipe sewer lines don't flow full, and over the years, the hydrogen sulfide from the sewage forms water droplets on the crown of the pipe, on the interior of the pipe creates uh, hydrosulfuric acid, and that corrodes the crown of the pipe. So the crown of the pipe has completely disappeared and it began to cave in. So what we did was uh, we pulled that portion out of the, the 
final design for Boyd and put out a bid to contractors uh, to make an emergency replacement of 589 feet of sewer pipe and four manholes. Uh, we put that bid out pretty quick. We did have six contractors pick it up and three contractors a bid on it, and the low bid was uh, $260,000 uh, from uh, Bill Allen Associates. Bill Allen Associates have done work for us in the past, and they've always performed satisfactory, and would recommend that it be awarded. Okay, I'm just going to clarify because it sounded like you said 260,000. I'm just going to, it's 216. Oh, 216. Yeah. 260 was our estimate, actually. Right. So I just wanted to make that clear. Yeah, <laughs> hey, no, somebody missed miss the footage earlier based on previous prices, but it uh, came in a little lower than we estimated. Okay. Thank you. Which is a good thing. Absolutely. All right. Uh, any questions from the council? Okay, and I'm told we got no questions from the public on this. So seeing that, we can move on. Item four is a resolution authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract for the rental of portable restroom trailers for the Ocean Beach Park with the lowest responsible vendor. Okay, uh, I guess uh, John is, uh, we've been doing this the last few years uh, until the, uh, um, I, I guess just this is until the bathrooms at Neptune and uh, New York Avenue were completed. Uh, right, thank you. We expect those ba both bathrooms to be done sometime mid July. So we'll be able to remove these. Uh, this again, we will put these in for reimbursement from FEMA under uh, the hurricane, uh, the super storm Sandy uh, account. So they're usually about a year or two behind paying us for these, but every year we put in, they've reimbursed us. But, you know, it's always a risk, but I'm confident that they will reimburse us again. Okay. Um... Any questions from the council? Um, okay. The two period, what is it, June and July, John? Probably June and July will need the bathrooms, yes. Okay. Seeing or hearing no other questions, I guess we can move on. Okay, on to the voting. One is a resolution authorizing the adoption of a capital improvement program for five years from July 1st, 2020 through June 30th, 2025, inclusive. To introduce and move the adoption of this item. I will. Second? I will. Voting. Councilmember DeLury? Yes. Councilmember Mandel? Yes. Councilmember Preston? Yes. Vice President McGinnis? Yes. President Bendo? Yes. Item two is a resolution authorizing the adoption of the budget for the fiscal year commencing July 1st, 2020 and ending June 30th, 2021. Putting sums set forth therein and determining and fixing the real estate tax levy. Introduce and move the adoption of this item as amended. I will. Second. I have a second. I'll second. Voting. Councilmember Delury. Yes. Councilmember Mandel. Yes. Councilmember Treston. I just want to say something regarding my vote. This is the fifth month on council, the fifth. One during a world pandemic with the most fiscally stressed city in the state of New York. So I'm asking you all to remember why I sit here. My role is to protect the city of Long Beach and its residents. You are all important and you are all being heard. You just may not like my response or my lack of response. Because again, my role is to protect the city and the taxpayers. This is my first budget as a council member. And I'm going to say this is the first real budget this city has done in a decade. A significant number of hours have been sent on an arduous task. And I'd like to thank the city staff, our city manager, our city controller, and my fellow council members. Department heads had to come back with realistic requests. We had to cut to the basics. 
My goal was to avoid bankruptcy and keep services. You may not like the decisions I have to make. I don't like them. I want to blame the previous administrations for not doing their best for the entire city. But the time for blaming is done. We are still in deep water and treading. We all need to accept the truth that Long Beach was led astray and we need this new direction in order to get to solid ground. Thank you council for allowing me this minute or two. And with that, I vote yes. Vice President McGinnis. I just have a few comments. Uh, I'd like to say what a difference a year makes. Uh, so thank you, Long Beach. Um, so what are the facts right now? The facts is that the facts are that our budget is still not balanced because we have chosen to borrow for next year's separation payouts instead of passing another double digit tax increase. The fact is we can't print money in Long Beach. The fact is there are over 33,000 residents in this city. That's a lot of people that are counting on each one of our us, us council members. The fact is I didn't make this mess but it doesn't mean I'm gonna sit here feign ignorance about the incredibly serious problems that we, ha that we have and can incredibly make everyone happy. The fact is I'm here to make tough decisions to get us out of this financial mess. And with that, I vote yes. President Bendo. Okay, I guess I'll just say also that, um, uh, and, and anybody that's been following this process knows this is, this is an early step and turning the corner and getting the city back on a on a sound fiscal path. Uh, there's some very difficult decisions that were made for this budget. Uh, and quite frankly, regrettably, much of it fell onto the CSEA this year. Um, that's that is regrettable. Now it is time for our other city unions to step up. Just like our, our partners at the CSEA did and um, and and help us, you know, join the team and help us fix this. So with that, I vote yes. Item three is a resolution authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract for sanitary sewer replacement on Boyd Street, north of East Pine Street. Who introduced to move the adoption of this item? I'll make a motion. Who was that? I had a couple uh, people. Liz made a motion, I'll second. Okay. Voting, Council Member Delury. Yes. Council Member Mandel. Yes. Council Member Treston. Yes. Vice President McGinnis. Yes. President Bendo. Yes. Finally, item four is a resolution authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract for the rental of portable restroom trailers for the Ocean Beach Park with the lowest responsible vendor. Which does move the adoption of this item? I will. Second. Remember. Uh, I'll second Scott's. Okay. Voting, Council Member Delury. Yes. Council Member Mandel. Yes. Council Member Treston. Yes. Vice President McGinnis. Yes. President Bendo. Yes. I'll make a motion to close the meeting. I will. Second. I will. Voting, Council Member Delury. Uh, yes. Council Member Mandel. Yes. Council Member Treston. Yes. Vice President McGinnis. Yes. President Bendo. Yes. Okay, with that, like I said, since this is a special meeting, we uh, we don't have a good and welfare. So uh, thank you everyone for joining us and uh, we'll see you at the next council meeting, which I should have the calendar in front of me, is June 2nd. See everyone on June 2nd, next Tuesday. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you.